And there they go. And South Africa is trying to show some pace. Anything possible is there. And so too is Ringgood. They are crawling for a six furlong affair. Easy shot and our man Mike at the back. So Ringgood has his head in front of South Africa. Anything possible is up close to the soft pace. Easy shot strides into the fourth position. Four lengths from the front. And he's nearly six lengths in front of our man Mike. So it's long shot Ringgood who gets away with a very soft opening quarter. 23 and two fifths. Here comes anything possible moving into second. South Africa has to bide his time. A tight spot from the rail, even though a field of five. He's having to bide his time with that rail positioning. Easy shot maneuvers into the clear. Still about four to find on Ringgood. And our man Mike's trying to gear up at the mercy of this off pace. So Ringgood has the lead. South Africa tips into the two path, and here he comes. Anything possible is under a drive. Our man Mike tries to gear up with easy shot. Anything possible in South Africa from between runners. South Africa, anything possible. South Africa, anything possible to the outside with the racing recency, his 14th career score. South Africa second, 97 cents. Our second race will commence the early pick three. Unfortunately, we have a couple of scratches, two and six. Uh, Joey Loose Lips. And, and there they go. And Trelad breaks with the leader line. A lucky Manny is showing pace to his inside. Interstate's in no hurry from third, and hereby is the last of the quartet. So on the front end, Lucky Manny and Trelad. Trelad has his nose in front. Hereby strides into third, getting within two of the top two. And at the back is Interstate, two by two up the back stretch. And once again, not a lot of pace on. Trelad and Lucky Manny matching strides. Hereby is third, opening quarter reads 23 and four. They are absolutely walking to the far turn run. And Interstate is at the back marker. They will quicken from here. Trelad and Lucky Manny a length and a half to Hereby, three deep. Interstate two and a half to five near the quarter pole. Lucky Manny, a Trelad, Hereby comes a calling with his run, three deep. Interstate has two and a half to find. Hereby with a three wide move confronting both Trelad and Lucky Manny and Hereby at 12 to one is up to the front. Trelad has some fight to the inside like an Irishman. Trelad fighting on with Hereby. They approach the eighth pole. Hereby has a narrow lead. Trelad is all heart from the inside. He reclaims the lead. Here is Trelad finding the front. Trelad has the lead. Hereby playing second fiddle. Trelad wins it for Ireland. Air by second, then Lucky Manny. Have a two-day carryover, $4,613. In the third race, scratch number three, this cat can fly. Other changes in the Z. And there they go. Mountain Tree shows pace. Also there, Feudal, Grit and Glory hustled along. Here's English Laughter, and here's Uncle Jerome. Fires finale from the far outside. He'll be a little deep entering the first turn. And thank you is the last of all. So on the front end, it's Grit and Glory from English Laughter. Fires finale, fires into the second spot. Uncle Jerome comes away running in fourth and Mountain Tree. A feudal joins him from the outside, little less than six from the dueling leaders. And he's nearly five lengths in front of Thank You. It's a little less than 11 lengths from first to last. And Fires finale has come away with the lead. Grit and Glory's back to second. English Laughter's in a beautiful striking position up the back stretch run, isolated in third. Four off the lead, about two and a half lengths to Feudal, another two lengths to Mountain Tree, length and a half Uncle Jerome, five lengths to Thank You, trying to pick up his stride from that back marker. 24 and one the opening quarter, 48 and three fifths for the half. And on the front end, a Fires Finale. Fires Finale gets away from Grid and Glory. English Laughter has about five lengths to make up. Feudal's in the fourth spot, six from Fires Finale. After them races Mountain Tree. Thank you, Uncle Jerome tails out of it. Midway through the turn, fires finale with a healthy lead. English laughter is second. Feudal's trying to pick up his stride along the inside. Here comes Feudal. He's making a move into second along the inside. Can he bridge the gap on fires finale? It's fires finale. English laughter and Feudal fight for second. Fires finale at the eighth pole still with the lead. It's a good race for second between English laughter and Feudal. Fires finale is well clear. Shuffle up and deal. Fires finale in front. Heck of a race for second. English laughter and Feudal. English laughter, I believe, second. Feudal third. Fourth place, thank you. And then we'll go back to Mountain Tree. We'll check in for that daily double five, six, eight dollars, 30 cents. A six, one exact, $11, 20 cents. 
615 trifecta, five dollars seventy-five cents, a ten cent super six one five two. And there they go. Banker's daughter away in last. And Queen's Dancer is showing lots of speed. Easy plays trying to go with her. Saloon Girl hustled along from the rail. Trivia's fourth. Banker's daughter with a quick recovery. She makes a bit into the fourth position. And Let's Maga is the last of six. So it's Queen's Dancer three deep. From between gals races easy play. Saloon Girl's pushing the action along the rail. Banker's daughter's getting a nice trail trip. She's isolated in fourth from the outside with two to find heading into the turn. Trivia is about four or five lengths from the front. And at the back there is Let's Maga. So it's easy play and Queen's Dancer. And here comes Banker's daughter with her three wide run. Queen's Dancer has her nose in front. Easy play continues to test her. Banker's daughter looms live to the outside. And I'm going to let's MAGA trivia and saloon girl. Queen's dancers in trouble. Ralphie D's ganging up on her with his gals. And it's Banker's daughter in easy play. Queen's dancer begins to retreat. Easy play has been headed by stablemate Banker's daughter. And Banker's daughter's up to the front. Banker's daughter opening up from easy play. Trivia's trying to make a move for second. Banker's daughter strides clear. Banker's daughter in front. From stablemate easy play. And then trivia, 75 cents. 10 cent super, 4326, $40.35. 564. Early pick three, $8.75. Er and there they go. Vinny Two Cents hopped at the start. Hangout is out for the lead. Vinny Two Cents quickly recovering from the rail. Cody's Express makes a move for third, covering Devil or Angel. So it is Hangout as expected to make the lead, and it's better than a length of any two cents in Cody's Express. Devil or Angel, who likes to do his best running from the back marker there, he's about four lengths from the front. So Hangout has the lead. And he has Cody's Express to his outside and Vinny Two Cents from his inside. And Devil or Angel sits a nice trip with three and a half to find at the three eights. 23 and one fifth for Hangout from between runners. Cody's Express all over him. Three wide. Vinny Two Cents sticks to him from the rail. Devil or Angel yet to gear up at this point. Three and a half to find at the quarter pole. And Hangout still has the lead from Cody's Express and Vinny Two Cents. Devil or Angel still at the back. Hangout turns for home with the lead. Devil or Angel's trying to close from that back marker on the front end. Hangout chasing him still. Devil or Angel in the two path in a tight spot. Vinny Two Cents from the rail far outside. Cody's Express. Here comes Devil or Angel up the inside and Cody's Express. They gang up on Hangout. Devil or Angel trying to stretch his neck for the score. Devil or Angel. Devil or Angel from Cody's Express. And race five is in the books officially. Four, five, two, one. That double four. And there they go. Slow start for scouting party, the lone debutante. It's a brisk beginning for Golden Moonlight. She makes the pace pretty comfortably. Here she's an Arctic Queen striding into the second spot. May's Loved Laffy comes away running in third outside of Floral Oats. Following them, Polly's Angel. Sunshine Girl is second last. Scouting party is the last of all. She's an Arctic Queen. Engages Golden Moonlight for the top spot. They speed clear. They build up nearly six lengths to Floral Oats and May's Loved Laffy. Almost three to Polly's Angel. Two and a half or three back to Sunshine Girl and Scouting Party. 22 and four fifths. And there goes Golden Moonlight. Golden Moonlight's in hand, confidently handled. Getting away from She's an Arctic Queen. Break of nearly nine lengths to May's Loved Laffy trying to close in from third. Then Floral Oats, Sunshine Girl, Scouting Party, and Polly's Angel. So it's all Golden Moonlight. It's her race to win at the top of the lane. She kicks well clear from She's an Arctic Queen. Mays Love Laffy is currently in third and following after her along the inside is Floral Oats and to the far outside is Sunshine Girl. But here is Golden Moonlight, just a stroll in the park on this beautiful holiday program. Golden Moonlight cruising at one to nine. Good race for second. Here's Floral Oats, Mays Love Laffy and Sunshine Girl. They're, they are all involved in that photo for second, third and fourth. Fifth place to she's an owner of Western New York legendary harness racing driver Fred Haslip. And there they go in the 38th running of the George Barker Stakes. 
Disco Dino and Flying Emperor showing pace. Lobster wants to mix it up. Ladies Golden Guys forwardly positioned from the inside. Senbei comes away in good order. He's fifth. Then Winston's chance. Riders regret. Nueva York and Zame is at the back. So it's Lobster up to the front along the inside. Disco Dino is second. And Flying Emperor's third. Ladies Golden Guy is two and a half from the pace. Senbei's to the far outside. Riders regret to his inside. Three lengths from the front near the three eights. Break of five to Sam May. Winston's chance. Nueva York's at the back. And now getting the lead is Disco Dino. Disco Dino has the lead. Flying Emperor gets a little closer. Ladies, Golden Guy is trying to launch his charge. Lobster's retreating. Senbei with a wide run. And Senbei's trying to move into contention, but it's Disco Dino with the lead. There's Ladies, Golden Guy, a tight spot from the rail. Then Flying Emperor, Senbei is flattened out a bit. Disco Dino's the leader at the eighth pole. Ladies, Golden Guy's fighting. Flying Emperor's there. Disco Dino, 37 to one. Flying Emperor, the defense. Defending champion, here comes Flying Emperor, Disco Dino and Flying Emperor. Who's it gonna be? Disco Dino! Dino, $77 winner in the George Parker. All right, one more race to go on this beautiful Memorial Day program. Ready for the nightcap. And there they go. And Tumbles broke very alertly from the far outside. Also there is with lasting speed. Sassy Tallahassee wants to go. And wonderful Juanita's right there in the mix. One from the outside. The Honorable Eye comes away running in fifth. Then Grandma T. And happy times the last of all. With lasting speed. The longest shot on the board has the lead from Sassy Tallahassee. The second biggest prize. Here's Tumbles. The even money favorite in the clear. And she's two and a half behind with lasting speed. Wonderful Juanita, a little less than three to find. She's in the two path. It's about four lengths to Grandma T. Happy times beginning a move from the back marker. Now at the back is the Honorable Eye on the front end with lasting speed. Tumbles gets a little closer with wonderful Juanita and sassy Tallahassee. And here comes Tumbles to the outside. And happy time continues to progress nicely. Then Grandma T. So Tumbles has come away with the lead. And wonderful Juanita fires into the fray in the two path. But it's Tumbles, the leader at the eighth pole. Tumbles has the lead and she kicks clear with lasting speed is second and grandma t and to the far outside is happy time with the honorable eye but it's all about tumbles and the nightcap and caber koa sweeps the late double the honorable eye i believe is up three with lasting speed officially seven two five three trifecta 103 dollars 62 cents 10 cents super 149 dollars five cents Late pick three, seven, eight, seven, sixty-nine dollars twenty-five cents. Late pick four, three with three, four, six, seven. Let's do it all over. Three, four, six, seven. With seven, with eight, with seven, one hundred thirty dollars fifty cents. The pick five, a four with three, four, six, seven. With seven, with eight, with seven, five hundred five dollars. And nobody had the pick six, eight thousand eight hundred forty-eight dollars and thirteen cents. A nice three-day carryover into Tuesday. Five out of six gets you twelve dollars eighty cents. So nearly $9,000 for the Pick 6 carryover tomorrow, commencing at 115. FingerLakesGaming.com. Click on the Racing tab. Scroll on down for free digital programs. They should be up at about 530. That's it for our Memorial Day program. Thank you very much for coming on out. Great to see a big crowd live in attendance. We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much to all the local fans who showed up to support the holiday card. Sure hope you enjoyed it. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. We'll see you tomorrow at 1.15. This has been Racing from Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack. Good night, everyone.